airstrike in Kundang aimed at Sedano was successful. Military intelligence will marks a dramatic reversal in U.S. and coalition efforts in Indonesia. General Kellner predicted a favorable resolution within. Even if Sedano has survived, he's dropped so completely from public view that hostage taken by Sedano from the U.S. Embassy to Dili is still unaccounted for. Okay, guys, first thing we need to do is head down this ladder. You need to, gotta go to the sleep TV level. station first. This is where Ingrid and Sedano Once we've done that, head up our night vision, and we're going to rappel down. So you can either walk down or you can do the jumping, which I'm going to do, just to speed up a little. And then we've just got to drop down one more area and drop down. Okay, now head over behind this wall because there's a guy just over there by the door, and we're going to wait for him to walk past. Once he's around the corner. Hey, is that your bike over there? We're just gonna go around like this. These two guys are gonna go here. What are you doing out in the rain? Something wrong? And oh, no. head up this pipe here. And this is gonna take us up onto the roof. Once we're up on the roof, we're just gonna jump over the air ledges and head down. Ignore that guy, he'll do that however slowly you walk, and he won't actually alert the guards. Okay, I'm going to head down to about here, and let the guard walk past. Okay, now, let's wait for this civilian to walk underneath us. We've got a little bit of waiting to go, we've got to wait for that guy to walk up. And we're going to wait for this guy to walk off. Now when the light swings away, we're going to jump over. Crouch down, pull out our gun, shoot that, and head over to the ladder just here and climb up. Then this ladder here, and this will take us up to a zip wire we can use, and then onto the roof, up, jump up, move along a little bit, and then it will uh, zip wire you across. Very nice. Okay, now we're going to head into this lift shaft and jump onto this and slide down. Okay. Now, just Go stop ahead. here. Then you said your boys aren't wearing their headgear. That's right, sir. I'm going to head out, do a little roll. With the Some trucks are going to go off, useless. and then head over here. Well, how are we covering the parking lot? that guy there. We've got extra men down there. It should be fine. And we're going to head after this guy. Now, don't get too near or he'll hear you. And we're going to head over for this uh, little block here, this little room, and go here. The reason is we've got to wait for him to walk back past us. And he should be doing it just now. There he is. Once he's passed, we're going to head out. And head down to the end here. And we're aiming for this gate here, do a little jump to get me going. And climb over. And if you're on the other side, you can just drop down. Go back into crouch, and we're going to head out, and we've got to shoot a few lights. Light number one, there. Light number two, there. And light number three, there. Now, at this point, if you're quick and uh, you're trustworthy, we can sneak around him. 
He should come to either where you are or the car light. And if you're fast enough like me, you can just get past him and slide down. Drop down here. And we're going to head over into this room here and do this. Head around the corner and head next to this pipe here. This will get you in darkness. Now we're going to wait for this guy to walk back down there and then up again. And then we're going to follow him. And then uh, we're going to sneak past the camera. Or shoot it or use a uh, jam. It's your choice. And he's going to go down again. Now wait him to get a little bit of distance because he can still hear you. And we're just going to follow him. Walking down. That's it. Now don't head straight out into the door, this is why. You're going to select your camera gemma, pull it out, and head forwards. Now head to the side so uh, if you run out of jam like I'm probably going to, you don't get instantly seen. Now I'm going to select our rifle again, pull it out, nope, pull it out. And shoot the light up there. We're then going to head down. He's going to keep on walking forwards like nothing happened. And then we're going to go just next to this pipe here and wait. He's going to head back down. And then we're going to head forwards. Stand up. Jump. Flip the ladder and climb over. There we go. That's going to take us back up up here. Now, you're going to select your thermal, and you're going to walk forwards, and when it flashes, you're going to run forwards and climb over. Then you're going to go back into normal night vision and head around the corner. Now, the light is going to go off. You've got to watch out for these spotlights, and we're going to climb over here and drop down. Now you're a little bit against the clock here because of the lights, but don't worry. Stay in crouch though, and then we're going to hit the lockpit. So, uh, which one is it? It's going to be up, down, and then right. Make sure you crouch down when you open the door, because you don't want this guy on the inside to see you. And we're going to move forwards. I hear something. And hit him in the head. He heard me a little bit, but that's alright. And grab this flare, because you might need this later on. Okay, and then we're going to go here. Now we're going to head out, and as soon as that guy starts going down towards the car, we're going to head down this end. I'm going to start off speedy, right and then we're going to slow down. That makes sense if a bit far-fetched that she just happened to be in the right place to luck away into being one of Sedan's hostages. She was at the embassy looking to stop. The agency needed to know whether or not he was still a viable asset. I guess they got their answer. Can go up there. Yeah, just sneak past that guy. And then head up here. Head into this crevice here. Kick off the wall. And then jump up. Pull yourself up. And you're on the roof now. Pull out your gun. Shoot the window. And now we can rappel down. Now that guy earlier, as you saw, if you walk close to him, he'll see you, but that's all right. If not, you can wait for him to go all the way around to this car, whatever's good for you. Okay. Now we're going to crouch down and head around here. Now this guy here, he's going to head down. We're just going to stalk him. And we're going to head set in the darkness. And then walk past us. And he's going to walk back. And we can head over. Open the lift. And then go up. We'll go to this. We're going to select our gun. And shoot the light at the end. 
crouch down. But she can move through the station with relative freedom. Head into the shadows. We're hoping she can quietly get you close enough. Select a sticky shocker. Sedono to grab him alive. Sedono needs to be caught by surprise. And tase that guy at the end. We're then going to aim up. You can either use this or a flare. Shoot that light. And that's going to get the gun shooting. We're then going to use this and deactivate it. We're going to head forwards. Aim and shoot that light so he, the body's in darkness. Okay. Now, there's a camera at the end. Shoot the camera, move forwards. There should be a guard walking down there, that's fine. And now we're going to head towards the door here, open it, and head right into the corner. Because this guy's coming in. Select a uh, smoke with air for, or a sticky shock, or whatever's, whatever floats your boat. Shoot him back, smack him on the head. Head into the corner here. And we're going to open the door like so. Dude in here. We're going to very slowly walk in. Walk behind him. Hit him on the back of the head. Now I'll turn out the light in here. And then we're going to pull out our gun. Shoot one light. And then shoot another light. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to chat to her. Hello, Ingrid. You? I didn't think it would be you. You knew somebody was coming? I've managed a few brief exchanges with the agency, enough to know I need to get you close to Sedona. Can you do that? Yeah. There's a retinal scanner on the studio I've been authorized for. You made yourself friendly fast. Sure. Sedona's a sucker for a smiling woman. Would have been a different story if Sob were around. We've hired a chopper to pull Sedona out. If you can get him outside, we can get him back to the States. Ingrid, for God's sake, I keep pinching myself. Play along. Trail her to the warehouse. It's our best and only way to get at Sedona. Now, there's going to be a guy out here, and we're going to have to take him out. So, select either a sticky shocker I'll use, or a ring foil. Zap him. Now we're just going to go up here. Might as well disable that. Pull out our gun and shoot the light, and he's going to be in darkness. Now... How much does Sedona trust you? You'd be amazed. How did that happen? The only thing Sedona... And just talk to her to get her moving again, because she gets scared if they're shooting of any sort. And she's going to do this. This next bit is really nice. It's like the most noisy background um, of a level ever. It's like they've got a... Uh, roof I guess which is made of plastic and it's raining so it's so loud in there. But anyway we're going to take out a bunch of guards in this next bit of the level. She's going to retinal scan. And unlock the door for us. As you can hear it's kind of noisy. Now we're going to chat to her. Anyway, she's sending us basically we've got to go and take out the guards. Okay, we hit up our night vision, run around the corner, pull up our gun and hit this guy with a sticky shotgun. That's going to make that guy at the end do one of two things. Number one, takes her as a hostage. If he does, just uh, shoot him in the head. Or two, he'll run down here and we'll get him with a sticky shotgun. Zap. Now select your smoke grenade, run forwards, pull it out. Bar, one down there, one down here. And that should take out the guys, the three guys who are around the corner. Once the smoke's cleared, head forwards, and yet they've all been taken out. So now we do is hide the bodies, pull up our gun, shoot the light. If she's uh, crouching like she is now, just go up to her. Hit talk to, and uh, he'll do it. Uh, his body's hidden. The, um, the other guy is hidden in where we were talking. So now we're just going to hide these three guys here. Gonna grab them. Dump 
apart from the darkness here. Grab this guy. Walk forwards, dump him in the darkness. She's going to be doing the retinal scanner. I'm going to grab this last guy and stick him in the darkness. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to head forwards. You can talk to her and she'll tell you a bit about Norman Soft, but there's no point in that. Let's continue. I need technicians. I need batteries. I need men in the studio now. And then at the end, you need to it to the and you'll be in the darkness and the camera can't see you. Now we're going to quickly pull up our gun, aim forward, and shoot the light out there. Now this is going to cause that guy there to come forward and investigate. He's going to look around and be like, oh, the lights were shot, whatever. And that's going to cause him to walk over stand just here. I'm going to grab him as hostage, walk him back, smack him on the head, and drop his body just there. Now, you could go into this room and take that guy there, take him as a hostage, and then scan his retinal in the door and gain access to the room. There's a better way we can do this. You can head over through the room, Head over to this pole and climb up. This is going to take us along and we're going to shuffle around because we can get into an air duct and this will get us into the recording studio. And now pull yourself up and you're in. Now we're going to move forwards past all these grills and whatnot. And down and now we can uh, just head up and we're going to head up and we're going to grab Sedano now at this point you could try and run for Sedano and go around that way or you can do this you can head the long way around now all this entails is going more in a circle motion to get onto his good side almost would have got seen with that light so watch out for the light and the reason is his good side now get ready to run behind him it's been 10 days since the day I'm gonna hit up my night mission by the US government. take him as hostage now they won't shoot you as long as you're holding him and drag him back. Well, that's a bit of a glitch. Uh, I shouldn't get any alarms when I've got Sedana. Now, as long as you've got uh, your... Uh, I'm going to skip through this, and we're going to use the retinal scanner. As long as you've got uh, Sedano facing them, they won't do anything. There we go. And then take him back and drag, and they'll probably keep on following you. Where is the last smallpox sample? The says there's only one more. Oh, wow. You do look like these aren't enough. Where and how many? Next door. Great work, Fisher. Anyway, we're just going to keep on dragging You're him back. Left, I'm sure I'd be blushing. Is Ingrid now he's going to scan his face again. That's right. And the helicopter too. Keep Sedono conscious until you can make visual contact with Carlson. Can I get a confirmation, Fisher? Sedono's alive and we got him? Yes. Fantastic. Don't worry about leaving a mess behind you on your way. And out. those doors should close in a second. And we're safe. We're not in the clear yet. Get Sedono to the roof. Ingrid's waiting. Here. I would have gift wrapped him, but I couldn't find him. Child's idea of war. Can't tell the difference between a citizen and a soldier. 
He thinks the whole world is a morally violent target. There's only one nation on the planet fighting the whole world. Huh. Whose side are you on? You know I can't say that. Yeah, I know. I don't know who you are or how you do what you do, but thank you. I hope we can work together again. Okay, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.